A woman has died after being hit in a busy intersection in South Boston. This crash happened this morning just outside of the Andrew Square T station near Southampton Street and Dorchester Avenue. And that's where we find WBZ's Nick Emmons tonight with the latest on this tragedy. Nick? Yeah, David, so what happened around 1045 this morning right here in Andrew Square, as you mentioned, and I can show you the intersection has now reopened. That happened within the last hour or so, but this is obviously a very busy intersection where this all took place. We understand a woman was crossing the street when she was hit and later died. Uh, police are now looking into the moments leading up to and the moments immediately after this tragedy. Crash scene investigators working to piece together what happened at this normally busy intersection. It was shut down for hours after a person was killed while crossing the street. My heart goes out to the family because she was probably just trying to cross the street. Several blocks away, this truck was stopped right in front of a hardware store where David Day was working. I was cutting keys here at the key machine and all of a sudden uh, I saw this truck pull in and two troopers came in behind him. Day says he didn't know why the truck was stopped, but he saw the driver get out and speak with officers. I mean, he wasn't uh, at all panicked or anything. I mean, he was just sitting there, standing there, smoking a cigarette. It looked like he had no idea. Hours after the crash, the truck remained outside the hardware store, surrounded by police tape. But investigators haven't said if the truck was involved. For neighbors near the crash scene, it's a terrible intersection. Today's tragedy highlights serious safety concerns at the intersection. And cars fly up and down the street. They want to make this light because it's a five light intersection. They see vehicles just missing people running through yellow lights, running through red lights, just to try to make this light. It has to stop. And back out here live again, this intersection is back open after being closed for several hours. I do have an update that came in within the just past few moments here. Police now say that the truck that we have video of is the one that they are looking at for the incident that happened here at the intersection earlier today. The question, though, is did the driver know that the driver had hit someone before taking off for several more blocks? We're still working to get more of that information as this is under investigation. For now, live in Southie, I'm Nick Emmons, WBZ News. All right, well, definitely.